war. That 19 suns pole shifted in our galaxy. And that many are pole shifting all the time. At exactly the same moment that the suns in our galaxy pole shifted, a color and sound frequency started emanating from all the black holes in the known universe. Now, apparently what this sound and color frequency is doing, it is literally creating a holographic density above all, all, all others. And on a numerical level, it would be, at our level, it would be considered the 12th. The Andromedans say that there are 11 creational densities in our universe. This is now adding a 12th. And that what it's doing is that it is literally lifting all the dimensions up. 11 is going to 12, 10 to 11, etc. Now they say that all indications are that by December 3rd, in our linear time of the year 2013, third density as we know it will cease to exist. It is now presently imploding on itself as it is being raised to a higher vibration. And that those of us who stick around and go for the ride will be moving through fourth into fifth density. Just like that. And that we will start to see very clear indications of this um, around the year 2007. Now, apparently the Andromedan Council, which is a group of 139 planetary systems, and I can't tell you exactly how many races because I don't know, has made a decision and has told all of the extraterrestrial influences in our solar system, both benevolent and non-benevolent, and those who are in the middle, to be out of this solar system no later than August 12, 2003. I don't know how they're going to back it up, but apparently they've decided they're going to. So they want them all out of here. Now, <laughs> if, if this happens, and they do leave, you're going to see incredible things. If they do not, I have been told to tell you this, that there's a very high probability that we will wake up one morning or go outside one night and the moon will not be there. It will be towed towards Jupiter. And they will deal with the energies that are there, out there. Because if they have to go to battle and the moon gets destroyed, it will destroy most of the Earth because, you know, pieces of it will come here. Plus, it has an energy source inside of itself. Okay, it's a spacecraft. Um, so this is another possibility. And, you know, um, I talked about the tides. I mentioned the tides. And more and I said, hey, that's no big deal. We can just get you another one. <laughs> Apparently, it's no big deal. You know, planetary science is no big deal when you're at that level of technology. Yes, ma'am. Um, I noticed that the moon had moved closer to Earth. What did they say about that? About two years ago? Um, apparently, it's it's moving closer all the time. Um, the Andromedans say that it's moving nine inches closer to us. And we're not being told um, about anything about it. They're also they also have said that Mars is also moving closer to us as well. That it's moving closer. I don't know what it is. Unless it's to disrupt the uh, uh, the gravity pull will create earthquakes. What's nine inches have to do with 40,000 miles? I don't know, sir. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a scientist. I don't know. Where you get to where people can the back cannot hear these questions. I'm sorry. I'll repeat the questions when they're said. Thank you, Dean. Yes, ma'am. If you also go the question is if, if the if the set if the satellites or the moons are artificially artificially created, why do they make the surfaces so rough? Obviously, to hide what they are. Um, other than that, I don't know. Man in the back. Yes. Um, yes. Okay. The question is if there's really a battle between good and evil, are the benevolence more powerful? Do they have more? And do we really have a chance? 
Oh gosh. Um, I believe I've been told that if they stuck together, yes, they could resolve the situation here. But there are, there are some significant problems that they have. Now, back in 1985, when I was being told all of this, there were a lot of discussions going on back in Andromeda about what to do with us. Now, half of the Andromeda Council didn't want anything to do with us. And their reasons were this. These were their sole reasons for not wanting to help us. They don't respect them, their home. They don't respect each other. And they don't respect themselves. What is their value? Now, the side those that wanted to help because they have seen us as totally being violated with our free will somehow convinced them that this was a worthwhile project now intervention not only changes our reality it changes their reality and one of the things that the Andromedans and Moore and A have said specifically is they don't want to come down here and help us when we don't want to help ourselves because then they end up babysitting and if something happens then they, we could always blame them and the cycle starts all over again. This is about self-responsibility. That's what this whole thing is about. There are one group of ETs who say, well, there's no way. You cannot be self-responsible. You cannot rule yourselves. And then we were given this opportunity 200 and some odd years ago to try this experiment. And we succeeded in doing it. But now we're being lulled back into a place where we want somebody to take care of us. Yeah. And and you know that, that, that you're going to sacrifice your freedom. I'm not about to do that. Neither. So, who's going to win? I don't know. <laughs> I wish I knew. I wish I had a place to hide until it was over, but I don't. <laughs> a lot of this to, to serve us. I mean, they kind of, you know, changed our direction as to what we might have been able to accomplish. I, I, you're right. Uh, the question was, uh, she added, that we've been manipulated and they've helped to change us into a different direction. You're absolutely right. However, when I brought that question up to Mornay, he looked at me and he said, are you aware that your government is drugging its young people? And I said, well, yes. He says, are you aware of a couple other things that he mentioned which are really sensitive? And I said, well, yes. He says, well, what has your race done about it? I mean, 19, what, 1986, 1987, West 57th Street, twice in six months, showed Air Force personnel unloading bales of, of marijuana and cocaine off of planes at Hempstead Air Force Base and loaning it up with weapons and it taking it off taking off for Costa Rica. Twice they showed this on national TV. What happened? Web 57th Street was taken off the air and nobody did anything. Again, it comes back to self-responsibility. They are watching us. They are watching us and saying, should we come in and help this race when they don't want to clean up their own act? When they don't want to take care of their own? Do you realize, and, and big time, and those who don't want to make a shift are going to be checking out because the frequency, everything is changing, folks. And I'm not trying to instill fear in you. I'm trying to share with you what they told me, and they have not been wrong. Things are going to radically change, and it's going to start just like this. It has, it has. You watch November of this year, it's going to get really weird in this country. Really weird. They're going to try to divide us. and Because if you divide, you can conquer. And whatever you do, please don't turn on each other. The enemy is underground. They're on the moon. It is not your neighbor. It is not your policeman. He's not the enemy. You know, if you want to do something really constructive and you don't know what to do, just do this one thing. Come November, if there's an election, vote. Whoever's been in office, vote them out. Start over. That will buy us more time. What happened in 1994 that Nothing. Apparently there's been divine intervention and third density is moving into fifth. Therefore, 
they say this is going to happen by december of twenty thirteen so the forty one years won't go by